Felix Fernando Ruiz Art. Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. And we are looking at the Veronica, the full figure of Veronica, that I drew in my last video. We drew Veronica in pencil, a full figure of Veronica in pencil. And uh, after the video, I went ahead and I inked her. And I had mentioned that um, I may want to color her. It's been a while since uh, I've, I've given a Copic marker demo. Um, so I thought I would do that tonight. So we're just going to jump right in. So of course what I did was after drawing her in pencil, I inked her. And uh, we could always go over inking again too. I, I think inking is one of those things you can't get enough of. And if you, if you want, uh, definitely let me know in the comments below. Uh, and I'll also be linking below to uh, the last video where I, I penciled this one. So if you haven't seen that, uh, I hope you'll check it out. So I'm going in, I'm using my E11, which they call Barley Beige, which is kind of a, a one of the darker, but not too dark skin, skin tones. So what I'm doing is I'm hitting areas of Veronica that I think would be a little bit darker. I always start out with your darkest darks first, but I work light to dark. So that means these areas that I'm hitting that I believe are dark, are darkest darks. Now let's move down to her legs. Uh, they aren't as dark. That's where I'm starting, but they aren't as dark yet as they, they will be a little later. Back up to her arm. And I hope uh, I hope these colors are translating well on the video. Sometimes, sometimes there's a little bit of a of a distortion. Okay. Now, very quickly, I'm gonna go to my E02, which is they call fruit pink, but I believe since I've had this pen, they've uh, they've changed the name of it. I, I forget, I, I don't remember what they've changed it to, but I do believe they've changed the name of it. Now I get, uh, because I color so much with uh, Copics, I do get a lot of Copic questions. And uh, one of the things that I see a lot are people saying, um, they wish they could afford Copics. Uh, and they, they, they aren't a cheap pen, that's for sure. And this uh, e, E02 e pen, I'm using this to kind of ease my dark tone into the lighter areas. And remember, as I always say, don't kill your highlight. Notice how I'm leaving some of the white of the paper shine through? Make sure you, make sure you do that, because um, that will add some volume to the figure. It'll make Veronica seem a little bit more three-dimensional, especially in all the right places. So I'm going down her arm, into her face a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna go to my E00, which, uh, is my lightest skin tone. And I, I use this the way a lot of people would use Blender. So a lot of the, the those two other tones that I just put down, I'm going over them with the E00. And it helps just to, um, just to seal those tones together. So it helps to you know, if, if you've left any any kind of streakiness, this helps kind of um, smooth that out. And it's a ve it's it's 
I, I think it's the lightest of the skin tones. Go down to the legs, and I'm gonna, this is gonna really help me to, um, to gradate, to transition my colors over into that highlight. So it, it's not just a hard stop of the color. And, and you probably can't appreciate the, the smoothness of the transition on this video, but I hope you can. I'm gonna go back to my E11, just to throw a little bit of a darker tone, maybe indicate a little bit of an ankle on the feet. So I was saying that a lot of times people uh, consider Copics kind of expensive, and they are. They, they are not a, a very cheap pen at all. But in the long run, I'm going to switch over to R02. This is flesh, and uh, this is kind of a warmer flesh tone, so in little areas that I want to heat things up, like over here, maybe Veronica's cheek chin. So as I was saying, the they aren't a, a cheap pen at all. The, the, the pen itself initially is gonna it's gonna cost you a few bucks depending on the, the color, depending on where you're buying it. A, a new Copic pen can cost you nine, ten dollars. Um, but you have to remember they are a, a, a componential pen. That means they, they can be broken up into components. Uh, they're refillable, so the pen itself is going to last you a long, long time. I want to get a little pink now. And I just want to heat up her cheeks a little bit, tip of her chin. I always give... Uh, Betty pink lips when I do these things. And Veronica, Veronica gets a little vivacious red because she's a little bit wilder. Now in comics, traditionally, highlights in the hair, highlights in black hair have been rendered with blue. So I'm gonna do that and I'm just gonna whip into the, the highlight I've left. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of white peeking through there just to make the highlight um, seem brighter. So yeah, uh, even though Mark the Copics can be a little steep, um, or in all honesty, pretty steep, um, in the long run, they will, they'll be worth it because um, once you buy the pen, it's gonna, it could last you a very, very long time. You're refilling it. You could change the nibs on them. So even when the nibs either get too dirty or, um, appear to wear out, get a new one, get, get new nibs for it. So, and there, there are also cheaper ways of getting to, uh, to a nice Copic set. Um, I always recommend, I always, I started out with the flesh tone set, which is about six or eight markers. I think the set will run you about 30 bucks if, if I remember right. Um, and those were the first Copics that I played with. And I bought them really as an experiment to kind of see, you know, would I like these? Cause I'd heard so much, everybody, Everybody at the Kubert School was using Copics and everybody online at conventions, everybody's doing Copics. So I wanted to see what they were like. And I, I did, I, I fell in love with them right away. I really, to be honest, I feel more like I'm painting rather than I am uh, coloring in with markers. I, I, it's really so much more flexible, so much easier to blend. I understand there's some some faux Copic knockoff brands out there, and you know if you, if you like those, go for it. If if they work out for you, you know, give them a shot. See see if you dig them. Um, 
I'm happy with the Copix, and, and I'll stick with that brand. Um, and I, I do think they're worthwhile. So a way of, of kind of building up your, your Copix library, and really, you know, I'll be very honest, the more Copix you have, the more colors you have, the more you're able to do. Going back to the Flesh, the Flesh R, uh, RO2, and I'm going to push a few things here and there, make them a little more darker. Some of those early darks that I that I, we started with, I'm going to push those now. Keep in mind, when you lay down a color, um, that color will go down darker. It, it'll dry later. So when, when you put it down, you may think, ooh, that's a little too strong. Let it dry and then see what you think. So, um, I, I, you know, one way to keep costs down, I mean, you, you may want to price things out, see if a set is cheaper. Um, but I find sets don't always have every color that I want. So I, I was lucky in that I found a set on Amazon.com. Um, a fairly good set. I think it was like 36, 48 markers. And it was $150. Um, but I went for it. And it wasn't a perfect set. Most sets usually aren't. What I did after that was I, I just bought individual colors. The individual colors that I needed um, to add to my set. Uh, just to really customize my set. And um, that's where I'm at now. So I have my set. It has most of the colors that I usually use. Uh, and then on top of it, you know, periodically for for some specific missions, I may need to go out and, and get a, a certain color. So, all right. So Veronica is nearing the finish line here. What do you think? Is she is she looking good? Is she looking like a hot chick in a hot bikini? Would Archie be happy? So let me know. If you have any, any Copic questions, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I love talking Copics. Um, there's going to be more videos, of course, so please uh, keep tuning in. Uh, please click like. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments below. I, I try to answer every single comment that I get. So please uh, chime in. Let me know what you think. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Click like if I didn't mention that. I always got to make the hard push. Okay. That's it for me. And I will see you guys in the next video. And uh, keep on drawing. See you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.